So today we're going to demonstrate how to draw a medieval gothic cathedral using just a piece of string the way that medieval craftsmen did ages ago in the 1200s and 1300s. So to start, I'm just going to draw a reference line. This just helps keep everything straight and it'll show, help show the mathematics of the gothic arch. So I'm going to take a piece of string. The first thing we're going to do is mark the width of the arch. So this would be the distance between your columns and the cathedral, for example. So we're just going to mark two points. One, two. Make our arch that wide. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is mark the midpoint between those. So we're just going to fold the rope from those two points and mark the midpoint. Medieval craftsmen would do this with a rope and by making knots in the rope. So we're going to do the same thing one more time to get that midpoint. So now we have three marks on the rope. Okay, we have the two ends, the midpoint, and this one between the midpoint and the end. So we're going to mark these on a line here. Just going to hold the rope. That's one end point. midpoint and the other end point. So you have the width of our cathedral and the midpoint. Now we're going to use this last thing we marked. I'm just going to slide this over. So now our end point is at the midpoint. The midpoint is on the end. We're going to extend it out half the distance between those. Okay. Flip it around. The same thing on the other side. Okay, so I have everything we need to draw an arch. Okay, so our arch is going to start at each end point, and these are going to be our pivot points for holding the rope. On this case, string. So we have a pen around the string, put a pen on the end point, hold the rope at the pivot point. Move that down a little bit. So pen on the end point, hold down at the pivot point, and draw the arch. Okay, the same thing on the other side. Just like that, and that's how we get a gothic arch. Now, the cool thing about this is the mathematics of it. So, to show that, I'm just going to draw a line from the middle of the arch straight down to the midpoint. It's probably going to be just slightly off. Something like that. What we can show is, if we go back to our string here, There's a mark, there's a mark. So here's the width of our cathedral, these two blue marks. If you move that, it's the exact same distance as the height now. Okay. So if we divide this up, divide those in half, this is two, so this is going to be four, because this whole thing is four. This has a length four. The distance to the pivot is one, two, three. So that's length three. And then, if we draw a line from the top to the pivot, that creates a triangle with now size 3 and size 4, which means the hypotenuse must be 5. And this is the 3 4 5 triangle that's hidden in a medieval Gothic arch. And that's the mathematics behind the medieval Gothic arch and medieval mathematics.